symbol tables uh, so symbol table is defined uh, it is an important data structure created and maintained by the compiler in order to keep track of semantics of variables that is it stores information about the scope and binding information about names instances of various entities such as variable and function names classes objects etc so symbol table is nothing but it keeps information about uh, different entities like variables function names classes and objects and implementation of symbol table the symbol table can be implemented in the unordered list if the compiler is used to handle the small amount of data symbol table can be arranged or implemented in one of the following techniques that is linear list hash table and binary search tree so symbol tables are mostly implemented as hash table the operations provided by symbol table are insert and lookup so insert is nothing but it is more frequently used in analysis phase when tokens are identified and names are stored in the symbol table the insert function takes the symbol and its value in the form of argument uh, for example int x and it should be processed by the compiler as insert x comma int so in this way the insert uh, insert uh, operation works in the symbol table lookup so it is used to search a name and it determines the existence of the symbol in the table declaration of the symbol before it is used check whether the name is used in the scope and it initialization of the table and checking whether the name is declared multiple times so lookup is used to search a name and it also does all these functions and the basic format of lookup function is lookup of symbol this format varies according to the programming languages and symbol table organization uh, so for example var x comma y are integers and processor p variable x comma a are boolean and processor q variable x comma y comma z are real begin and then end so this is how it represents in the symbol table so top the symbol table this is a symbol table for q so in symbol table q we have variables x y z which belongs to type real and next symbol table for p that is nothing but the for the procedure and in procedure we have q x and a and its data types are q belongs to real and x comma a are boolean and this is a symbol table for main so in symbol table main we have p q and x in that q and x belongs to data type int and p is the procedure here so in this way the data will be stored in the symbol table in symbol table whatever we are using in the program so that uh, uh, the whatever it belongs to those will be stored in the symbol table and symbol table data structures the data structure should be designed to allow the compiler to find the record for each name quickly and to store or retrieve data from the record quickly so uh, why the symbol table data structures are used uh, we can find the record for example if we need any record x record by using the name x we can find that quickly and uh, if you want to store any data also we can store it and if you want to retrieve the data also we can retrieve the data quickly by using the symbol table so the different data structures used in symbol table are first one is the linked list or a linear list uh, a linear list of records is the easiest way to implement symbol table uh, the new names are added to the symbol table in order they arrive whenever a new name is to be added first it search linear to check if the name is already present in the table or not the linked list time complexity is o of n and the advantage of it is it has it can it takes less space and additions are simple and the disadvantage is it has higher access time and the next one is binary trees uh, it is an efficient approach for symbol table organization we add two links left and right in each record in the search tree whenever a name is to be added first search in the tree if it does not exist then a record for the new name is created and added at proper position this has alphabetical accessibility so this is the organization of uh, 
a binary tree a main program and zero line one line two so on and uh, in this we follow the procedures and lines everything will be organized in this way so in binary tree however uh, like how to add is whenever a name is added first we need to search in the tree if it does not exist with that name then a new record will be created for that and it will be added in the proper position in this format and the next one is the hash table in a hashing scheme two tables are be maintained a hash table and a symbol table a hash table is an array with index 0 to hash table size of minus 1 these entries are pointer pointing to names of symbol table to search for a new name we use hash function that will result in any integer between 0 and table size of minus 1 so this is how we store from 0 to n minus 1 insertion and lookup can be made very fast and its time complexity of o of n so symbol tables are data structures that are used by compilers to hold information about source program constructs it is used to store information about the occurrence of various entities such as objects classes variable names functions etc it is used by both analysis and synthesis phase the symbol table is used for different purposes like it is used to store the name of all entities in a structured form at one place it is used to verify if a variable has been declared it is used to determine the scope of a name and it is used to implement type checking by by verifying assignments and expressions in the source code are semantically correct or not a symbol table can either be linear or a hash table it maintains the entry for each name as symbol table type attribute so the example is like symbol name is static type is data type and the attribute is here uh, what we are using like a salary here we are we have been using and the uses of symbol table are it is used to verify that used identifiers have been declared and it is used to verify that expressions and assignments are semantically correct type checking or not and it is used to generate the inter intermediate target code so this is how the symbol table works